Hey everybody, this is Palm Springs Cindy coming to you from Manor Care Skilled Nursing and Rehab Facility here on Country Club in Palm Desert, California. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a, I just sort of wheeled uh, into this one room where uh, actually it looks like they're uh, sort of moving things into this room. I don't know what's going on. I think they're, I don't know but at least I was alone here and I thought maybe I could do a little daily brief on how my time is coming along. So, um, well, gosh, today and, and every day is sort of a busy day. And I, and I do want to talk to you about that. I'm kind of trying to get myself settled here. Um, I like this morning, for example, a typical day for anybody who, wants a, the patient's view of what it's like to be in a nursing home. <laughs> um, this morning, I had a doctor appointment at s scheduled for 8.30. So, I, so the facility was in charge of getting me a transport. And, and so the trans, I had to get up early, not just get up, but take my little spit bath because I, I get two showers a week whether I want want him or not. And so I needed to get up and take my spit bath and get, uh, I'm putting on makeup, getting my hair brushed, putting on this little shift. And in other words, I needed to prepare myself and get dressed for my doctor appointment. And that can take a little bit of time. So, um, so anyway, I did that. And then I, then the transport uh, gentleman was right on time and they just lickety split know how to get you right up into that van and get you to the doctor luckily my doctor is only probably f maybe four miles away it's my the doctor office so i got i got right in to see the doctor doctor um oh right, i always forget his name um gore dr gore, dr rufus gore and I, like I said, I really like my doctor. And, and so I was, a, he put a fresh dressing on my leg and he uh, showed and went over the x-rays post-surgery with me. And we, we, I had a few questions. I wanted to know if I was gonna be able to get my uh, wound wet in the shower because last time I showered, I, we, we put a trash bag, like a trash baggie over my whole leg. Well, what happened was my knee, my knee, I call it my Velcro cast. It did get a little bit damp and, and it really now it's, it's causing sores on the back of my leg. You can't really see sores, but there it's burning and itching. And so, so if I can, if I can take it off, while I shower, I want to be able to take it off. So he said I could take it off. And uh, okay, so I went to that appointment. And then when I returned, I had not had any, I had not had anything to eat. So that doesn't do sit well with me because you know, I'm on all this medication and then if to not have anything in your system. So I was scheduled right away when I got, when I returned from the doctor's office to go to my uh, occupational, let's see, there's OT and PT. And so I had to get right away to one of those. <laughs> it was the OT. And so I said, I just, you know, I can't go until I get something in my stomach. So they, I, I ordered an egg salad sandwich and, um, I think I ordered a Sprite or something like that. Anyway, it, it took about 30 minutes, but it came, it arrived. And then I, because it came a little bit late, um, I, I did not join my, I did not go to OT that, today. So I, um, so what did I do then? Um, so anyway, I, I enjoyed my breakfast and then it seems something happens. Some, you're constantly busy. And so then, um, I don't know, I must have, oh, I know what I did. I went down to the main dining area and there was a gentleman playing the piano and sing, 
I think he was singing. I don't, I can't remember if he was singing or just playing the piano, but there were some, lots of people enjoying the music. I was included. So I enjoyed listening to that music. And then after that, I tried to make a video, but I couldn't, every time I found a quiet spot, somebody walked in or, and then I, you know, I didn't have privacy. So I, I was, it, it, that took me a while, like wheeling myself around the facility to to find a spot to make a to make this video. So then I find I went back to my room and I was there and and I had a visitor, and uh, the visitor, uh, you know, stayed for like half an hour ish. I'll say. Then after that, the, the he, as soon as that person walked out the door, my PT came in. Aruna, hi Aruna, she's lovely, she does a great job. And um, so she came and got me, and then we worked on, for, for like, it's like an hour, I'll say, I'm not sure if it's a full hour, maybe 50 minutes, I don't know. But she worked with me on um, strengthening my legs and arms and core, and uh, she's full of great information, and. And so, you know, that's, that's a whole, you know, that's a whole workout in and of itself. Then I just left. Oh, and I, I left there and she wheeled me to my room. Then I realized I might be able to make this video. So I'm making the video. <laughs> now I'm making the video. I also went to make an appointment for myself to get my nails done. They're so overdue and a pedicure because they do have a beauty salon. So there, I was not able to make a, um, an appointment, but she, the beautician lady was very nice and she said she'd come to my room later. I, I'm not sure when that would be, but so I'm hopeful that I will be able to get in. She's here Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get in for a, oh, and I also asked for a, shampoo with deep conditioning and a blow dry. So hopefully I'll be able to get to do that. And then, oh, and I also met with this other lovely lady. I don't remember her name, but she was, I call her the librarian lady. And she has a cart with books. And you, and she, you know, I did take a book and she has magazines. And then she gave me a questionnaire to find out my interests and and reminded me or shared with me that they have a happy hour, I think on Friday nights where they watch a movie and have popcorn and they have an ice cream social one night a week and they have bingo one night, I think. Anyway, they have a calendar full of activities. So there's, you know, there's plenty to do to keep yourself busy so you don't have to stay in your room all day or stay in bed all day. Although, you know, there's certain, sometimes I think that, you know, I would like more time to do that. But eventually, like, like now, oh, I'll say like after, like after dinner-ish, then it's more time to settle down and get quiet. And if you stay in your room, or I, I'll speak for myself, if I'm staying in my room or I'm, um, you know, getting ready for bed or whatever, then, you know, I feel, I don't feel guilty not being busy and up if it's um uh if it's like after dinner time i'll say so let's see i had oh so today during uh physical therapy i did you know i worked with uh strengthening bands and weights on my good leg and just doing movement to strengthen and keep muscle strength and then um, she had me get up on into a um, walker, which um, I was, I'm terrified to get into a walker. But I, I guess I can't leave until I can, I pass my walker test. And so I, I took two bunny steps that I had to go like hop, hop, and then backwards, hop, hop. And so that was like, huge for me you guys because i am able to put my my leg i can touch my foot to the floor but i cannot put any weight bearing on it so i was terrified i was gonna accidentally put some weight on it and um but i didn't and it and it feels so good to stand up and to get out of this wheelchair so slowly but surely 
um, you know, I'm feeling uh, a little better. I still have, I have to share with you this. Um, the, yesterday, I think it was during my physical therapy, um, I want to find this lady and tell her thank you, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. We were in a group physical therapy class, and uh, I'm going to just take a little bunny hop over here for a second to say and to tell you guys that the physical therapists here are so wonderful. You know, they seem to be very well educated. They know their stuff. I, as a retired teacher, I, I, my analogy is that this is, uh, it reminds me a lot of teaching. Uh, because when I would teach, and you know, the, the little ones, when I, like, let's say when I was a second grade teacher, you know, you'd want the kids to stay on task and to get to work and, you know, get that work done or you'd, they'd be on their reading lesson or whatever. Well, you know, they were just seven years old. Some of them were still six and they, they didn't want to and they would uh, skirt the issue of any kind of schoolwork at all. You know, they would do it any way they could, you know, by talking to you or telling you a story or telling you about what they had for dinner last night or, you know, and then, you know, you, my, my goal was, you know, get their attention and, and get it back on task as gently and nicely as I could. Well, anyway, and it's wonderful because, well, it wasn't wonderful, but of course, when you're six or seven years old, you're adorable. So, you know, it was, as a teacher, you can, even when you want to strangle one of your students, you, of course, you don't because they're too cute to strangle in the first place. So, well, not like the nursing home because I just see a lot of the same behaviors of adults, uh, you know, trying to get out of uh, doing anything physical or anything that's out of their comfort zone, I should say, because it's scary and it's, um, it can be painful physically. And, and so I, I crack up because I think, you know, it's, I just, um, I see a lot of behaviors only now that people are, you know, elderly are certainly, you know, not six or seven years old anymore. And they're still coming up with lots of excuses and ways to divert uh, attention for, uh, from getting away from doing the activity at hand. So anyway, I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it, I, get it, I noticed that and kind of got a kick out of it. So anyway, what I wanted to get back on track, um, there it was a, a group, there was a group lesson going on that I was in, and it, you know, a lot of it had to do with giving out information. The, um, you know, the sort of like the science behind why we're doing this exercise. This is the muscle that's gonna work. Uh, you know, this is why breathing's so important, uh, yada, yada, yada. But in the meantime, there was another private lesson going on behind me. And it, it was a woman, um, probably close to my age anyway, they frankly all are. Um, she was in her wheelchair. I, I just got the tail end of it because it turned into a traumatic situation. She was working with her PT person and, or OT person, and anyway, they wanted her to, to do an activity out of her comfort zone. And she tried to do it, but it was too painful. And she burst into tears, the kind of tears I've been crying, you know, not, not the, the ugly cry. And just, you know, in front of the whole room, because we were, one group was on this side, and then she was on that side by herself. So, you know, it wasn't like she was private, and, but her feelings just overcame her, and I certainly understand that 100%. And she cried, and she cried, and she kind of did some, a little bit of yelling, like, leave me alone, whatever. And, and the, the therapists were working and trying to be very kind to her, and trying to console her, but also trying to get her back up and to get her back back on task. And the late, it was just too much, it was too much for her. And so finally she, she, she yelled, and this is why I wanna thank her. She yelled, just let me get this out of me. I, it's gonna make me cry. In other words, she just needed to cry. She needed to say it hurt and she needed to yell it out and she needed to she needed to admit defeat and that she wasn't ready for it and and i i i feel validated i 
I feel validated that she did that, and I feel validated that she said that, because that's, I've acted like that, and that's, I, I wish I could have said it the way she said it, like, let me, let me, let me get this out of me, like, let me yell, let me say I can't do it, let me say it hurts, and, um, you know, don't shush me, in other words, you can't make it better for me. And um, they want to, but they can't. So, well, they can, <laughs> and they do, but, but maybe not at that moment. So at any rate, um, you know, so there's a lot of therapy going on around here. <laughs> and um, let's see, I did, uh, uh, I was able to sign, sort of sign up for foods that I like versus foods that I don't like. And I I'm, I'm feel better about that because first of all, I'm hungry. And you only get three meals a day, which is certainly plenty, unless you're like me and I'm an overeater. And so I'm thrilled to be here because I'm going to lose some weight. And I have to lose weight if I want my recovery to be the best it can be. I can't be carting around my body all overweight. So, um, so if they serve me something and I'm not, you know, I haven't had anything to eat in a long time, and then it's something I don't like or something I don't even recognize, um, you know, then I don't eat it, and then I'm even more hungry for the next meal, and then I get weak and blah, blah, blah. So that was, that was nice today, that I was able to pick out my, uh, some alternatives. So, so now it's only like 3.20. I feel like I've spent a week, and it's only been <laughs> barely one full day. Um, I'm going to go back to my room. I've got uh, paperwork and stuff to fill out. And I'm just not, I'm just not up to filling it out. Plus, who has a pen? Plus, who has a hard surface that's, that's clean that you can sit there and fill papers out? Not me. I am, uh, I'm going to go back to my room and get comfortable. Hopefully, may, hopefully I can maybe fall asleep for a while. Last night was the first night I actually slept more than just a few hours, um, and it was very welcome sleep, very needed sleep. And in fact, I slept so deeply that um, when they came to check my p blood pressure and oxygen, I wasn't getting enough oxygen because I was bre I, my breathing was not deep enough. So they made me get up and do deep breathing. Okay, ladies and gents, I've blabbed enough. I'm gonna go to my room. I'm gonna adjust my bed. I'm going to get comfortable. I'm going to uh, go uh, shop on eBay, window shop. I'm not going to buy anything. And I will talk to you tomorrow and give, hopefully, and give you a little bit more of an update. I have a lot of things to share with you guys, but I have to get a little bit organized in my brain first. So that was today. I did a few bunny hops. Um, I was uh, transported to my doctor. And um, did I, and my menu, I was able to pick out some food items that I'm going to be looking forward to, like a, like a, a chef salad with Newman's own. <laughs> Goodbye, and P.S., I love you guys.